Hey everyone, Jacob with Backflip Photo. I appreciate you joining me today on our first look video where we are featuring Click Elite's Luminous Pack. Now this is a rugged pack geared for you adventurer folks. Now this pack is an all day, all pro, all star pack. It is worth every penny. Let me show you why. I bought this pack as a replacement to my Low Pro Photosport BP300 AW2 pack. The biggest reason I decided to replace that pack was its size. The Low Pro pack is built for a single body and two medium zoom lenses. I happen to carry a 70 to 200 long zoom lens, and because of that, my Pro body and one lens had to go in the top pocket unprotected. To see more about that pack and my review, please click this link. After doing a little research on the Clicky Lee company, I was left with the distinct impression that this is one of those companies where you get what you pay for. By that, I mean you expect that you get a little bit better quality when you pay on the higher end, but sometimes we don't like to take that gamble. So let me assure you, it is well worth the price. You get an incredible build quality that is second to none. Here's some of the other things I found out about the Clicky Lee company. On top of high quality nylon fabrics, they use silicone coatings that add water and abrasion resistance. Other companies also sometimes use silicone coatings, but don't add too much in order to keep the costs down. Click Elite does not skimp on the amount of silicone, which ensures it will last on the pack. Use of EVA foam. EVA foam is used on running shoes because of its durability and ability to bounce back when compressed. It is much superior to PE foam, which is commonly used in the pack industry. YKK zippers are the best zippers available. Click Elite puts them on all of their packs. There were four main reasons why I chose this Click Elite pack, and number one by far was size, uh, the size of the compartment for the camera to be more specific. Now with my uh, Low Pro, I had to uh, sacrifice some pieces uh, by putting them somewhere where they really didn't belong. Um, my camera body and one of my lenses had to go in the top pocket and that was unprotected. Uh, that was all that the room was going to allow me to have for camera equipment in a protected enclosure. So this pack already right out of the bat, um, looking at the pictures, I wasn't quite sure how much I was gonna be able to fit in my personal gear in there, but I knew I was gonna at least be able to get all three lenses and a body, and I was right. I, I got all three lenses and a body and even some extra accessories in here. So size was fantastic. That's why I got this pack initially. Now, number two on the reasons why I bought this pack was that it's gonna be rugged and durable. And that's important to me because I frequently get on airplanes or I'm in a national park, I'm hiking. I just want a pack that's gonna be able to keep up with me and I don't wanna buy another pack because it failed. I, I don't feel like this, this pack's gonna fail. So the ruggedness and the durability were a big factor in choosing a pack like this. Now, number three for the reasons why I bought this pack was the ability to lash a tripod to it. And this was huge for me. This is probably my second biggest factor in, in buying this pack. I have a very lightweight carbon fiber tripod. And even with its lightweight, I don't want to carry it. It, it gets heavy, uh, whether I be in the city or I'm hiking up a mountain or I'm biking, um, which I'm not carrying my tripod if I'm doing that. Um, the Low Pro had no way of lashing a tripod to it, um, at least not comfortably, and it wasn't designed for it. This pack actually has somewhere specifically designed to lash a tripod too. And in fact, you can even um, put snowboard and skis attachment on there somehow. I think there's an extra piece for it, but <laughs> that's kind of crazy, right? So um, it definitely had that in mind and that was a huge factor, if not the turning point for me on, on why I got this pack over any others. So the last reason why I bought this pack was because I felt like it was a really well-made pack. The company is really focused on building quality things. They don't have many packs, they have a few, but they all seem like they're built really well. They, they, they're, built, they're built with ideas and details and thoughts they actually put into it, things that you don't really see with other packs. So I felt like they were really thinking about the photographer, how they're gonna use the pack, the activity type that they were gonna use it for, and I think they nailed it. So that is the last reason why I chose a Click Elite pack. Now guys, the initial reaction when I opened this pack 
the first impression was, oh my God, this pack is insane. This thing is so well built. The attention to detail is like no other pack I've ever seen out there. It is second to none in attention to detail. And that made me very happy, especially for the, the price that I paid for it. All right, so it's the time you've all been waiting for. I'm going to break open this pack right now and give you a little bit more hands-on on the features of this pack. Now, let's start with uh, what's up front. So what we have up front is a couple pockets up top, a couple side pockets on both sides, and then of course we have the, the rear pocket for the camera gear. So let me just open up pocket number one. This is the smaller of the two pockets. It is the one up top um, right off the bat. Got my camera filters, um, but as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of goodies in here. We've got um, some memory card access, uh, some padded pockets. Um, up here, we have a lined pocket for scratchables, such as your cell phone, um, maybe a bare filter if you've taken it off, um, some clean cloth, something like that, maybe. I'm in a pretty nice size pocket. Uh, I throw my wallet in here. I've got a key strap here, so when I am hiking, where's my key strap? There it is. Um, when I'm hiking, uh, I have it on my pack, and when we get back to the car, or if I need to go quickly back in my car, I can just ask my wife, hey, um, get my keys, and they're always in the same spot. So I really like that about the about that pack. It just, it just drives me crazy when packs don't have uh, key spots. Um, so uh, in the top uh, larger pocket, I've got my, my white balance checker and some batteries. Um, some extra battery. This is minimally used. I, I, I actually have a lot more space for other things, but that's really all the gear that I take with me. Um, so that's about it. And I've got my uh, backup battery uh, for my camera. And of course, like I said, my uh, my SD cards. That's that's about it that I take um, electronic wise um, that goes in that pocket anyways. Um, and then we've got a much larger, deeper pocket. This one goes the length of the pack from top to bottom. So this is your big pocket. This is for uh, lunch or some uh, rain gear or something like that. Uh, on the bottom, I've got my recording equipment. Um, and the below that is my grab bag. I just put things in here. Right now I'm holding uh, cables, but I just put uh, my grab bag down the bottom. Um, there's another pocket in here, but this pocket is fairly large. Like I said, you'd be able to put your lunch in here or something like that. So it's not just a camera pack. You can camera pack with function. So if I really wanted to, I could probably use this as a weekender pack. I put all my camera gear in there, put a couple change of clothes maybe. Then I'm off for the weekend. So yeah, I haven't done it like that yet, but it's getting me started. <laughs> all right. So those are the two pockets. And like I said, we've got uh, pockets on either side for um, other items. Um, so that's good. Um, uh, what else is on the front is the uh, second most important feature that I that I uh, bought this pack for, and that is the ability to lash a, uh, a tripod to it. That happens up here. Um, this is a loop system. It goes around the tripod leg, lo uh, loops in, and then you can start using these buckles to buckle it down, but it rests in a pocket that's built for it. And you access that pocket by undoing the Velcro. And like I said, the details about this pack are phenomenal. And here's one of them. So there's a little pocket that you pull out and there's a little loop on it to help you pull that out. Why would you put a loop on that? Because it's awesome. It just makes things easier. They just, <laughs> they just think of things that make things easier for you without you needing to think about them yourself. I'm gonna be, that's like the theme of this pack. So anyways, um, tripod pocket, uh, leg goes in there, buckle it, buckle it, and then you can loop it. Um, this system can also be used for skis and snowboards, I heard, even large tripods, like mega tripods. Um, so that's great. Uh, I don't have any uh, skis or, or uh, uh, snowboard that I'll be using, but hey, that's pretty cool. Um, there are some loop systems. This could be for your trekking poles. There's also some pulls here. I'm not quite sure what they're for. Those might be for like the ski. That's where you put your skis, isn't it? <laughs> I bet they do. And they've got a, a, a loop system up here to lash them down. That's probably why there's an interior piece here. I bet that's for the skis. I'll double check on that. But um, yeah, but that's where you drop your skis at. 
Um, in either case, that's the front of the pack. It's just, again, the quality of this pack. It's just, just nylon. It's just rugged. It's just, God, you want to throw it off a mountain, but don't do that because it's a camera pack and there's camera equipment inside. So, anyways, that's the um, that's the front. Tuck my tripod piece back up in there. Um, so the most important part, I guess, would be the back, right? Because that's where all your goodies are. Um, so let's open that up. Let's fold my straps out of the way. And you guys ready? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. <clears throat> now, be careful when you open up um, a backpack like this because if anything is heavy and weighted and shifted at the top, when you undo this, not good. So lay it down or tilt it at least so it doesn't fly out. Um, now, first thing I gotta talk about are these YKK zippers. They just, God, they're so good. Just so good. Um, nice, huh? Good is. Um, so what I have in here, oh, let's shift it a little bit. Um, uh, let's just pull it out, right? So up top, uh, 1635. <clears throat> Underneath that, Full zoom, 7200, totally fitting, and it's got room in there, so that's awesome. Um, I got my Nifty 50. On top of that, I've got my camera charger. Not exactly why I'm, I, I'm not exactly sure why I put it in the top, or even in this at all, but I don't know, I don't want it damaged. I don't know. Um, 2470, full frame, attached. 2470 all in that pack there's no way a low pro is going to do that that low pro bp don't get me started better lay that down because that's going over the table um so inside here we've got all these uh eva foam dividers they're all adjustable of course you know all that goody stuff um but uh, something they do do is um these little removable inserts are actually hourglass figures so they compress in the middle um, mine's a little wonky right now because I, I rest something directly on it, which for extra padding, I sacrifice. So um, they're hourglass figures, so something square can go inside of them, but then a lens can rest on top of them, like my Nifty 50. It rests on top of it, so when you put it in, it kind of cradles your lens, right? More thinking. Thinking things. Thinking about things. Designing things. Um, also inside here is an elastic pocket. I use that for my camera strap when I use the leash system, which I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. So um, that's the internal. That's it's all empty now. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. I mean, I don't know. It's going to your back, so pound, two pounds doesn't really matter, right? Um, so uh, actually, there's one other pocket that would be on the waist straps. So the waist strap has a small pocket. I usually put my uh, quick filters if I'm doing a filter non-filter type shot or if I'm doing a remote release I'll put my remote in there something I need to get to quickly maybe my wallet my keys actually no I won't I put my keys where they go on the key strap because they gave me one so um, let's get into actually the, the waist strap because there's something unique about the waist strap so uh, the waist strap have these two pet these two pulls you can see there's two straps coming through and what this allows it to do is shift based on how fat you are. <laughs> so if you have a big waist and it needs to come up, it can shift comfortably and vice versa. If, if it shifts down, it can also be comfortable. So um, that's something you don't see, right? Thinking, again, they're thinking. So um, the uh, EVA inserts, they're all divided so that they offer flexibility rather than just being a pad that molds and stays. It's flexible. What is that called, people? Thinking? All right, they should call this the think tank. It's probably sacrilegious to say that, but <laughs> I said it. Um, also on the straps up top, uh, you've got your chest strap. Um, the chest strap is just a regular chest strap. I don't know what this is for though. They have like this, this um, flap that goes over it. So I don't know. It's cool though, cause it's there um, and there are lashings throughout. You can put so much stuff on here. So let's move on to the 
leash system. The leash system that they call, I forget what they call it. Click draw. Clever, huh? So the click draw system is just a carabiner and it can go to either side, I guess, but uh, the reason you use this for the holster piece. Um, but uh, there's lashings on both sides. So you lash that there, theoretically. Or not theoretically, that's exactly what you do. So this leash system goes on to your camera and then it gets hooked to your, to your shoulder strap. And in case you are climbing, hiking, whatever, and you drop your system, basically it's just a fail safe so that uh, your camera doesn't crash on the floor. I really wasn't sure about this, but after using it, oh my God. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why in my review video. Just watch for it, because it's stupid good. Um, so the uh, camera gets leashed on to, to the strap, um, but the big deal is the holster system. So it's got a built-in holster, and when it's on, it you know holds your system. Um, and that's really, really nice and convenient because yeah, I could have a holster. Uh, how much do holsters cost, by the way? 100 bucks? It's already built in. So, um, a good holster. Um, comes in, goes out, really easy. Not so much with my with my hood on, but whatever. Uh, that's a different show as well. So, comes in and out. And I gotta say, I wasn't quite sold on the idea of the leash system. I thought, mm, maybe a gimmick. It's really not. It, it encouraged me to continue to shoot because my camera is already re it's ready to accessible. You pull it out, you go. So if you guys don't already have a holster system, I recommend getting it if you don't, because uh, I didn't realize how nice they were. But you just don't put your camera away. It's not on your shoulder. You're not just lugging it around. It's not flopping around either. So it just keeps it protected. It's, it's a good way of carrying your camera. So thank you, Click Elite, for adding something that I didn't know I wanted. Appreciate that. So. That is the Click Elite Luminous. Um, God, it's such a good pack. I really think you guys, I really think you guys should get one. Now, before you guys go, let me just quickly go over some details about this pack, some finer details that really make you believe that they know what they're doing, they execute it, and they just, they, it feels like they're photographers building packs for photographers. It, it really does. They're just little annoyances that you and I would find. Like, oh, why don't they do something about that? They have, they really have. Let's just start with um, the straps. The straps down here on the waist strap in particular has this little Velcro um, and it's sewn on. It's not going anywhere. It's not like the elastic ones that are gonna break or, or, or get loose over time. And all its job is to do is to help you tie things off and make things nice and neat. Because no one wants straps hanging all over the place. I've never liked that. And they've solved it with just and they did, they did a good job solving it. It's not just throwing some elastic on there. They put some, um, some Velcro sewn onto the strap. Now the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is some pull tabs. Um, they put pull tabs on all the zippers. Um, it's just a place to anchor um, your thumb and finger to so that you can open things without it sliding. Just, otherwise you'd have to hold the pack and open it or pull them apart. This has a pull tab that you can you can use for that, so kind of cool, huh? Now the next thing I want to tell you guys about is the um, the locks themselves, all of the plastic locking systems. They all feature a, on the male side anyways, a, a lever that opens up and it's able to slide in and out. And then when you're ready to lock it down, it clips down and it's not going to move. So when you lash something down and get it nice and tight, pull it tight, lock it down, it's going to stay there. It's not going to loosen up over time and you'll have to readjust it. There's just, there's no readjustment needed. It, it locks down really solidly. So uh, another detail are all of the lashing points of things that you can put on. There's so many hoops and buckles and loops sewn onto the pack, whether it be on the shoulder strap, on the back, on the front. There's so many places to tie gear off on. They just put them on there. They're well built. They're not flimsy. They're not going anywhere. I can probably pull the tiniest of tabs fully weighted and hold my pack on it. It's just, they're well built and they're, it's a well-designed pack. So the lashing systems on this thing is just insane. You can put whatever you want gear wise on this. So my final thoughts guys on this pack is that it is just outstanding. It's five out of five. 
it's executed well. The experience that was used to build this pack, uh, photographers for photographer, it's just, it's abundantly clear that they built this for us. Um, it's expensive. It's, you know, one of the more expensive packs. I think this one runs for 300 plus. Um, but my grandpa always said, uh, you can't afford to buy something twice. So spend the money, get a quality pack that's going to last you. It's just, it makes the whole experience of carrying your gear, carrying other gear better. It's a better experience. It's a well executed pack. I can't, I can't overstate that at all. It's the devil's in the details and, and they've really focused down. They've built an incredible pack. I'm really, really happy to have this pack and I'm looking forward to seeing what else Click Elite comes out with because um, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. So I'm a fan. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I am going to be doing a part two with this pack where I did a field test with it in Bend, Oregon over the summer. So please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, see you next time.